Hey guys, this is Catherine from X-Force. So today we're going to unbox a X-Force new product, Mini Prog. Uh, now I have the box in my hand. So what is Mini Prog? Well, Mini Prog is a professional smart programming device featuring solder-free program. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you what it comes inside, the functions of Mini Prog and its accessories, and uh, also, I'm going to show you how its working interfaces look like. Lastly, we have previously collected some questions you may have on Miniprog. In this video, I'm going to answer these questions to you. Now, I have the original package of Miniprog in my hand. So, you can see from the outer packing, it's just like a pen. That's why we sometimes call it a programming pen. Now, I'm going to open this box. So, firstly, what we've got a mini prog. It comes with a pin header. This is pin header one, and this is the tool. And also, we've got another two pin headers. This is number three, and this is number two. And they are used to read the data on modules. And also, we've got a adapter. This is the EE Pro adapter. And uh, we've got a cable. This cable is used for connecting Miniprog to adapters. And uh, we also got a USB cable. This is for charging this device. So this is Miniprog. The color is a bit different from what we can see on the cover page. But it's still okay and it's very lightweight and very comfortable to hold. So this is the front side of Mini Prog. There are three buttons. Uh, the first is on and off button. We can start the device. And the second, menu button to control the device. And there is a light button. You can turn the light on. This is the LED screen to show the working status of Mini Prog. Now, I'm going to show you the working interfaces of Miniprog. To operate Miniprog, you have to download X-Force app on your smartphone. And access to X-Force. Choose Miniprog. Turn Miniprog on and select the device. In the main screen of the tool, there are six icons. The first, EEPROM and Flash. It can read EEPROM of different manufacturers. Here, we choose Atmel. Click it, and it will show the specific chip and it will show which adapter you should use. This is pin header 3. Just connect the header to Miniprog, then you can directly read and write data of it. Next, Emo. Um, it supports several cars like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Land Rover, Porsche, and Volvo. Let's click BMW. You'll see you can read these many modules. Let's choose Cast 4. You'll see info about the operations, uh, which adapters you should use, and uh, the connecting diagram. Usually, you need to clip the adapter to the module. As for the instrument, so far, it supports three Chrome modules, Honda, Hyundai, Kia. Let's choose Kia K5. Also, it shows the info adapter and the connected diagram. About the ECU, uh, it's the same interfaces as other modules. The last icon, read ECU with scan. Uh, you can read ECU without dismantle.
So previously we have collected some questions you guys may have on mini products. Now I'm gonna answer these questions. So question one, can this read E form correctly and give pin code for Bessler screen module? Definitely, it can read the e prom data directly and uh, don't need to solder. And uh, that's very basic. Uh, that's a very basic function of mini prog. What you need is a e prom adapter. Uh, that is in the standard configuration. But if you need to read other modules like uh, BMW Class 3, you need to buy extra adapters from your dealer. Question number two. Does it support Volkswagen IC24 C64 Rhino 93C56? Yes, of course. These are two common chips we support. And actually, you can see the support list on our app. On our app. Question number three. Does it do reflash? Yes, of course. It support reflash. And uh, question number four. Will it have updates? Does it need tokens? Sure, it will be updated several times a week. As for the tokens, there is no need tokens for uh, operation or programming on the device. Question number five. Will information get corrupted when reading directly from PCB board? Well, if you can find the module on our app, uh, the information on the PCB is 100% secure and safe. Question number six. Rhino 95040 can do this read pin code by direct. Yes, it supports uh, this chip reading and writing. 